Hi there, Virgo. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your monthly reading in love for November 2019. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a condensed general reading. Please only take the portions that resonate with you. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and there is a free birth chart calculator at the bottom of the description box. Okay, Virgo, off camera to save time, I've done a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Eight of Cups, Virgo, water energy. This is a card of moving on. It's a card of following your dreams. It's the ability to leave something behind in order to go on to new concerns. This is someone that has Saturn in Pisces. The cups have not fallen, so there's no disaster. You just know it's time to move on. It's a shift in life from being involved and doing things with others, and now you need some quiet time and a chance to be alone. It's following your path. It's a better future just around the corner. The moon is in its both full and waning quarters. And it looks on, signifying the end of something and the beginning of something new. This card indicates leaving the past behind. But even though the cups behind him are full, they can no longer satisfy because something is missing. This is dreams and visions which are not immediately obvious that make up a valuable part of your feelings. Let them help your consciousness and your powers of discrimination grow. Start searching, but be aware of the card's warning about the kind of restlessness that strides on too hastily, missing the very goal, the cups. This is an emotional turning point. It's going with the flow, and following the flow of energy not only takes the least effort, but it also achieves the best results. And you know what you want, and you won't settle for anything less. Your second card... And this is the energy that's crossing over your path. It can be a challenge. The Six of Cups, Virgo, water energy. This is coming from the past. It's memories, it's being nostalgic. You could receive a gift. This could be blocking your ability to go forward because you're looking back. This can be an unmistakable bond. It's a karmic attraction. These can be soulmates. You may have even had a past life together. This can be uh, an emotional conversation that's connected to your past that will shed light on your future. Memories, innocence, and friendliness. This is brightening the day of another with small gestures of kindness and become childlike again. It's taken an opportunity as it presents itself to cast off old feelings and fulfill important wishes. This is love and harmony and enjoying safety and security. This is a soul connection. The Eight of Cups with the Six of Cups. This is returning. It's a return. It's another beginning you can uh, reconcile with the past and you can even go further together. This is forgiving. And now your third card. This is how it affects you. This can be your attitude. Number eight of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. Strength. This can be a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Anywhere that Leo is prevalent in someone's chart, yours or someone else. This is force of character. It's courage and determination and inner strength. It's spiritual power overcoming material power. And oftentimes that Eight of Cups can represent a spiritual quest. This is love triumphing over hate. It's the higher nature over carnal desires and becoming strong in spirit. This is a fate card, a test of fortitude, moral courage and fortitude. The infinity sign is representing 
infinite potential and wisdom. This is inner strength to accept yourself, quiet confidence instead of dominance, dominance, openness instead of determination. It's gentleness that can hold a greater strength, someone facing problems with confidence and hope. The lion symbolizes passions, anger, as well as desire. This is allowing them to emerge and then taming the lion through love and belief in yourself. It's allowing negative feelings to come out in a positive way, and it tells us not to fear our emotions. It's also complete success and honors. This is going with your feelings. It's a union of desires. There's a hidden feelings. And this is having faith in yourself which will pay off through stink, strength, and fortitude. The Six of Cups with strength. This is pursuing your dreams with determination and a positive mindset. Your fourth card, it's the card of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Ace of Wands, Virgo. This is the root of all of fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's a new beginning. This is high passion in relationships. It's being open for the new. This is a way out of hard times, a spark of inspiration, ignition. This is a gift from life. It's a positive new beginning, an opportunity, a seed to be nurtured, a bright new idea, a burst of creative energy, a source of inspiration and excitement and enthusiasm, and the energy for something new. This indicates high passion in the relationship. It's excitement and fun. This is a potential for great success. And you will find the answer in the doing. The Eight of Cups with the Ace of Wands. This is the new path that looks more exciting. Also learning new technology. And the the Eight of Cups with the Strength card is Endurance. And your continued efforts bring good results and happiness. It's having the strength to move toward your dreams, even though the future is uncertain. And now your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The Nine of Swords, Virgo. Air energy. This is worry, anxiety, keeps you up at night, brings insomnia, all the thoughts racing through your mind about what you want, hope for, dream for. The suffering is in your mind. It's a mental torture. There's a need to be patient and make required changes for a better future. This can be ruined plans. It's even health worries. So steps should be taken to solve these problems and you are near the end of your mental ordeal. This is a preoccupation with a past experience. You may be feeling unworthy or overly fearful and worried about the future. Could be overly sensitive to other people's opinions. Your relationship may have taken peace of mind. And if you're single, it's lonely with regrets about a past relationship. You might be having nightmares or trouble sleeping. You might be feeling ill and worried about your health. But worrying is pointless unless it drives you to take action. Confront your weird worries and fears and take steps to solve your problems. Talk to someone. Write in a journal. See a doctor. If you continue to doubt and fear, they will continue to haunt you. This is a high stress card. Or someone may be having feelings of guilt regarding a past transgression. Often the fear of difficulties is worse than the reality. The fear is far worse than the outcome. So put two and two together and look at contradictions around you and strengthen your resolve and your patience and try not to feel so down by the temporary blockages or difficulties. These are old goals that darken over and new ones lighten up. There's fresh mental pastures ahead. The Eight of Cups with the Nine of Swords. This is facing your fears. This can also represent emotional exhaustion. 
and there's two eights in your reading which represents receiving new knowledge and the nine of swords with the strength card this is self-doubt which can be overcome and the nine of swords with the six of cups this can represent haunting memories and the ace of wands with the nine of swords this is a stressful new beginning Here's your advice from the Oracle deck, Earth Magic, by Stephen Farmer. Virgo, you've got Desert, Vision Quest, Desert. Kind of reminds me of the Hermit, as well as going on a Vision Quest on with the Eight of Cups. This is, this is an arid climate zone that we call Desert. Images shift and change throughout the day, yet always maintain a sharp and defined presence. Those hardy species of flora and fauna have found a home in the desert and have adapted over eons to the relative harshness that the strong of these strong characteristics of these lands. Throughout history, we've passed down many stories of people wandering in the desert. Often they're about religious figures and ascended masters who have journeyed there and returned to their people with remarkable visions. The desert is an ideal place to seek a vision, or, more accurately, allow a vision to come to you. The quiet and the peace of such an environment is conductive to, conducive to the solitude required to have this type of profound experience. Spending time in this region without the usual accoutrements of the civilized world can present survival challenges, or at least seem to. And this could rightfully be called a spirit quest where through steadiness in this seemingly bleak environment, it becomes possible to receive direct guidance from spirit internally and in the world around you. Virgo, a vision quest is in a process whereby you spend a few days in the wilderness alone. Typically, you carry only water and some sacred items with you, and you spend most of the time praying or meditating. Many who have completed a vision quest assert that it is a powerful and even life-changing experience and report vivid and profound revelations. It is said that the desert does not lie, so partaking in this can help you discover the truth about your purpose, or at least give you some clues. It is time for you to go on a vision quest, designate a place in nature in which to dwell, whether for a couple of hours or a few days. Spend the majority of your time while there praying and meditating. It is best to be in a location where you can truly find solitude, even if it is a quiet corner of a park for an afternoon. Wherever you go, take your question, concern, or challenge with you into prayer or meditation. Allow it to float around in your consciousness and watch what shows up. This is one of the most powerful of cards. By drawing it, what other messages you may have received are amplified threefold. Wow, Virgo. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up and please subscribe because I really can use your help. Your support really means a lot. Uh, remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.